Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Keys to Quantum Awakening podcast. I am Sierra from Awakened Heart Quantum Healing. Hello, friends. I'm Carrie, the Quantum Gypsy. We're both BQH past life regression practitioners, and we've dedicated our work. We wanted to help get knowledge to aid everyone, including ourselves, and wisdom for our ascension on Earth. And we're exploring books in this podcast that can help us in our mission. We've been deep diving these past several weeks. I think it's over a month into the compendium of the Emerald Tablets by Billy Carson. We've been gaining so much higher perspective through channeling um, Thoth at the end of each podcast, which is amazing. Love what he can come in and tell us about what he truly meant behind the Emerald Tablets and give us some clarity. Yeah, absolutely. So today we're going to be wrapping up the Emerald Tablets. We're going to be going deep into Emerald Tablet 15, which is chapter 17 in the book. It's the secret of secrets. And then we're also going to go through the last words of Hermes Trismegistus. So Carrie and I have a Patreon channel. It is patreon.com slash quantum awakening portal where we're both universal channels. We channel different beings from the Galactic Federation to help us on our ascension journey. And it's really our goal to bring this higher perspective and higher knowledge to the collective at this time. Yes, and it we n- didn't plan it this way, but it's amazing. We're doing this podcast before um, well, it's the solstice. We have Christmas around the corner and then New Year's. So before we start a new year, a new book, we're closing this chapter of really going through the Emerald Tablets. And I really, I appreciated reading this, but I feel like Sierra is our little expertise uh, for Tablet 15, because this is one that she truly has just, it lights her face up every time she talks about it. So really excited. So what are some of the things that when you're really deep diving into this, that how you apply them or work with them? Yeah, so first, I think it's really, it's been cool because I've gone through these tablets myself before, but the amount of synchronicities that have came forward why we've been doing this entire podcast for me has been absolutely mind-blowing. Like, even, it's given me such a deep a knowing of what is actually in these tablets, such a deep understanding at a higher level of what is actually in these tablets when we've been going through it in this way. And it's so interesting because even today, I today was just like a huge activation day for me. Um, there is this video on YouTube where a Lumerian elder Um, does a light language activation and he says that he's really here to seal us with the crystalline light and I had this huge aha moment that I am able to use the same superpower and I just broke down crying (laughs) and so it was like the most beautiful experience that we're going through my favorite tablet the most important tablet in this entire book how to use this in your life, how to use it to your access to the higher realms. And then also I was given this beautiful gift today of how to seal people with this beautiful crystalline light energy that the world needs at this time. I love that. And you know, one of my favorite things, and there's so much about these tablets, but one of my favorite things is the tablets and really going into that this stuff all exists and the light is played like it's just stuff that we don't know about. It's, it's still there. It's just in darkness. And all it takes is the right time, the right cycle, whenever it's needed. And all this stuff is illuminated and brought forth. So I think it's just so profound where we're at that this information is coming forth and we're, it means we're ready for it. It means that we are on the brink of change as we learn, everything is always changing. So that's like, <laughs> you know, but they always say the light has won, the light has won. And it's like, the reason this is coming forth is because there's more light. 
And so that just gives me more peace. Like, yeah, we are in the right direction. Like we are in that direction of breaking these cycles and these patterns because I mean, we're over it. We're, we're over this song that's been on replay. We want a new, we want a new station, a new album, a new record on this way that makes us dance, makes us have joy, makes us live in a lighter place. And the fact that these tablets are here right now and we're looking at them is beautiful to me. Yeah. And such a, such a beautiful gift from these tablets is just being reminded of the light. And I think for me, that's so important because I was in darkness for so long with the depths of my addiction and some of the experiences that I had here. And so to learn that everything is light that as long as you're not in the blackness, then you can be a child of the light and to just never turn your back towards the light. And using that in my daily life now, it just gives me so much hope and so much love for the experiences that I'm having. Like it truly has changed my perspective on the way that I see my reality. Yeah, I mean, these, I mean, I'll talk about these energies all day long, but that X-class solar flare that we just had brought up some old subconscious programming that I didn't know was on loop. I mean, it must have been on loop, but I couldn't hear it, but it was still on loop and I thought it was all okay. But when it came up and was activated, the old me would have spun out in a lot of bad choices that just didn't serve me. And just being aware of this information that we are the light and that just to keep your eye on the light, that just gave me other coping mechanisms where I was able to just allow it to be in my space, allow it to play. And I I literally went out in nature and put my feet in the cold water of the river and just allowed nature to help me. And just surrender to like nature. I can't do this right now. Like I need your help. And nature just brought me back to this balance. And I didn't have to go and and go to have a drink. You know what I mean? I didn't have to go numb in other ways. I was able to remind myself of the light and it just was, okay, that's it. That and it, and it moved on. And I was like, that's all it took all these years. I've been numbing and numbing and numbing. And all I had to go do is ask nature for help, (laughs) you know, but it's just, it's beautiful. Yeah, that is so beautiful. There's so many tools around us to help us. And I can feel myself getting emotional already. And I think it's just because, well, I've been emotional since this morning, since I was so divinely activated by this Lemurian elder and just connecting to that part of my soul. So then to talk about this tablet that is another divine connection to my soul is emotional for me because it truly has changed my entire life. And it's helped me see things from a higher perspective. And so my goal is to show people that if I can get there, (laughs) anyone can get there. And I want to be a guiding light for others so that they can also gain their access into the higher realms. Because if you gain your access into the higher realms, you can manifest more easily. You can learn how to tune yourself to the vibrations of the things that you want to create. You can see past, present, and future. You really, truly, we say that we have access to all information in this realm through the Akashic Records. But technically, that's not true. We only have access to this realm, to those records. But once you break these barriers for yourself, you reach the Akasha of truly the all, of all information. You can see reality for what it truly is. And you can see your soul signature frequency you can see any memories of your soul you can ask to be downloaded any information you wish 
and it truly just makes you the creator and then your soul I think (laughs) the most beautiful part of this to me is like my soul just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger it's like I remember one past life I remember one parallel life just so that I can remember even more and the amount of information that we can receive is so beautiful to me and it's like we're just downloaded all this information so that we can truly use it to come back to self so that we can clear the distortions and see who we truly are because in the higher realms there is there we don't have this distortion of self so we can truly see yeah i and i think that's beautiful and i think that's a great reminder what we were kind of talking about earlier as there's a, a we're, we're finding out more and more in some of the sessions that we're doing that there's a lot of star seeds that are carrying some energy from past lifetimes that they may or may not even know is carried from past lifetimes. And it's, uh, it's really affecting the, the collective and how important it is to go in and access these things. So you can go in and see what you can clear or what, you know, you need to, what needs to be brought forth. And they all, I mean, they're, they love you, your, your guides, your higher self, your higher self is you and absolutely loves you and is only going to give you what you can handle that they can support. They're not going to give you more. And that means a lot of times you get stuff in layers. So you may get something, have a huge breakthrough, a huge epiphany, and then you go back and they're like, wait, there's more. They're like that infomercial, you know, like there's more, <laughs> you know, and you go and, and then they show you some more and you're like, wow. And you clear that. And, but you're like, I didn't even know that all these patterns that I have in this lifetime were based on the trauma and the energy brought from those lifetimes. Yeah, absolutely. So the higher realms is really a chance to just cleanse all of that just to see the higher perspective and to dissolve the distortions that you don't even know that you're holding on to. And this is so important for the world at this time, for our ascension, because we live in a realm of pure distortion. Like we are in a realm to experience absolutely everything that we are not. And so it's this is just a beautiful way to come back to who you truly are. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, we are on chapter 17, the final chapter, the tablet 15. And when they start off in in tablet 15, they did go in. If you guys read along with it and talked about the ball, which is the essence uh, of living forever and the Ka, the K A which is the shadow that um, man knows as life, right? So the shadow or the veil, or uh, when you come here, what you feel is life. Like a lot of people feel this is their only existence. I'm not here to argue that, but like if that's the cause. So it says that we're here to learn how to receive the Ba, which is the essence, the living forever in ascension, which I'm like, okay, I'm listening. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> immediately <laughs> yeah you caught my attention <laughs> um as well as the yin yang nature of the universe and how it relates to order and disorder um forms uh from disorder and order forms chaos so i feel like that really is interesting how disorder and order together causes chaos why do you feel like that is You feel like it's com- it's confusing because you don't know how to make it like unless you're in tune with your intuition. If you have some things that are true and some things that are not true, how do you decipher what to believe? Yeah, absolutely. And it's hard when we live in a realm of distortion. So like the way that I think of it is even your chakras is a form of distortion. Like the way that your chakras is projecting your light body that technically is distortion because it's a part of this realm but you could call that like ordered distortion and then we have disorder the chaos like the actual distortion that's causing us to it's almost like they're showing me extra blinders (laughs) 
<laughs> to the veil or extra they're just saying chaos it truly is chaos of like just a, I'm seeing like the disorderly waves the way that the waves vibrate it causes us to either completely misunderstand what is happening around us or it pulls us away from our soul signature frequency so during this tablet you're going to hear me talk a lot about your soul signature frequency and your soul signature frequency is really just the frequency you're like your pure soul frequency that you brought into this lifetime and since we live in a realm of distortion our entire life we have collected all of these ideas we've collected all this conditioning that's not even ours like I remember I had this breathwork session one time and I went all in it was super intense and I just remember having this realization of like all of this shit is not mine like (laughs) even my thoughts like my behaviors around food that I got when I was a young child, all of this conditioning, I was like, none of this is mine and I can change all of this. And so to get into the higher realms, you have to clear yourself of these distortions so that you can come back to your soul signature frequency and see who you truly are. Yeah, I think that's the recognition that it's not yours and what it reminds me of and maybe some can relate. Okay, so a lot of talk about narcissism lately, right? Like there's been a lot of people in relationships with people, I guess, that are narcissists. There are more narcissists in the world than than I would like to admit based on all the information I see posted. (laughs) But I have a girlfriend who just got out of a relationship with one and she's so angry at that person, that that guy, she's so mad at him because he was a narcissist. He believed his own lies so much that he made her believe the lies too. And how could she have, you know, been in this relationship? And I get it. I've, I get it. it. It's not fun because they believe their truth or distruth or whatever you want to call it, the narcissistic behavior so much that when you kind of tap into your own intuition, you start to believe it too. Cause you're like, wow, they're so they believe it so much that I believe it too. But at the end of the day, she, I broke it down and I'm like, I love you. I know you're upset at this person, but like you're more mad at yourself because you stopped listening to your intuition. You're more mad at yourself for that, that part in you, those, that lower level shock, like those lower chakras were telling you, your gut was telling you this isn't true to who you are. This isn't your true essence. This isn't truth, but you still made those, those compromises. And, you know, at the end of the day, she agreed, but it's the same thing with, with navigating the order and disorder in this world. It's like, you've got to tap into your intuition and trust yourself that you are the best guide for navigating this experience and ask those questions to your guides, ask them for help. Like when you don't know what to do in a situation, phone a friend, like really, (laughs) you know, otherwise be ready for the lesson. (laughs) But, you know, it's just this, it's telling you like, yes, it's confusing when you have things that are of truth and things that are not true. It is really confusing, but you have things, you have the ability to navigate it. You really do. You just have to not believe the distortions of things that are not you. Yes. And our purpose is to transmute the darkness. And then I love how he says that that darkness transmuted is the light of the light. So the way that I think of this is if I didn't go through the darkness that I had to go through, then my life wouldn't have the amount of light in it that it has now or I wouldn't be able to shine my light I wouldn't have the cognizant ability to shine my light and be aware of my light if I didn't go through the darkness that I went through well I mean if darkness and light are both from the same element right they're just a different part of the scale 
light is, you know, illuminating darkness is just on the lower part of the scale, right? But it's on the same scale. It's the same thing. It's the same energy. Darkness is disorder and light is order. I mean, do we really go through the darkness or did, was our light just dim? Like, how do we, when, when you say things like that, like, how do you really, maybe your light was just not illuminated. You weren't going through darkness. The darkness was, you just had to transmute that darkness. Yeah. And when we get deeper into what you actually say in astral projection and to access the, the higher realms, we're actually going to come right back to this because this was actually something that I had to learn myself before I was uh, before I was granted access to the higher realms. So we'll get even deeper to that into that. Okay. I look forward to it. <laughs> it's a date. <laughs> uh, 